Hey gang, Scott here. So in this video, we're going to export our work from Plotograph and share it with the world. But when you're in the Plotograph software and you've done all your animation work, everything's all set. One of the things to check is your animation properties. And so you want to have this somewhere between two and three seconds. And depending on if you want a faster animation, you can use two, or you want a slower animation, use three. And for this scene, I want it to be a little bit uh, relaxed and calm. So I'm going to set it to three. And what this does is it sets the iteration. Like if you're going to have this video uh, loop multiple times, well, each time it'll take three seconds to go through one full animation. That becomes important on the export screen. So let's have a look at the export screen. The lower right corner, we've got a little export button. I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to do a custom export. We have a few choices here, and what choices you make depends on where you're sharing your photograph. Are you going to share it to Instagram? Are you going to share it to Facebook? And there's a couple of different uh, rules that the different social networks have. So for sharing to Instagram, MP4 is great, but they have a cap of uh, 1024. And I'll just type it in here on the size of the image. Also, Instagram requires at least a three second video. And so if you'd set your animation properties to say two seconds, you go down to this loop duration. So you get something that's a total of three seconds or more. Um, I had three, so I'm gonna be three, six, nine, 12, and you know, um, Six is fine. Even three is fine because Instagram will automatically loop the video for us. Now, if you're sharing to Facebook, it's a little bit different. They have different choices you have. In Facebook, I'll set the width to 1080. So we have, you know, kind of like a, a 1080 looking uh, size video. And also the animation needs to be less than 30 seconds. So if I push this to 33 or so, it's not going to auto play and auto loop on Facebook. So you want to keep that lower than 30 seconds. And again, if you're just looping the video, you know, shorter is fine because the file size can be smaller and then you let the social network loop and share those things. And once we're done with those choices, let's say we're going to go Facebook on this one, we can say export and that's going to put this export into the my exports panel and I'll just wait for it to be finished. Once the export's finished, you can download it, save it as an MP4 to your hard drive, and then share it from wherever you want to. If you're using Plotograph Social, you can also share directly from Plotograph Social to Facebook and other networks. Let's have a look at that. I'm going to go up into the menu here and go over to Plotograph Social, which is still in beta as I make this. And here are you know a bunch of cool galleries from people. I can go to my gallery. And here are my different photographs. And any one of these, I can select it. And then I have a share option. And from here, I can share it to any one of the social networks I like. Now, we have Twitter and we have Facebook right now. Instagram's coming soon. But if I hit Facebook, well, then it's just going to do its normal thing. It's going to go launch Facebook in a web browser, and then I can go and create my post and share it just like you normally would for any other thing on Facebook. So that's exporting and sharing in a nutshell from Plotograph. And have fun animating. I hope to see your work on Facebook, Instagram, and other social networks as well.